Top 10 Places You Should Never Swim You can probably think of lots of places that are great for swimming. Pools, the beach, or even comically small inflatable pools. But in this video, we're going to tell you about 10 places where you should absolutely, under no circumstances, ever, swim. Why? Because I'm trying to keep you safe. Also, they're super weird and interesting. Almost everyone loves to go swimming, I mean that's one of the best things to do in the summer. Going on a vacation to a place you've never heard of is the thing to do in order to see the world. It's important to perform some research before you go swimming, as not every body of water is meant for swimming. Here is a list of the top 10 places in the world you should never swim in. Number 10. Lake Karache. Lake Karache, a lake in the southern Ural Mountains in central Russia, has been called the most polluted place on Earth. During the 50s, when the Soviet Union didn't really care that much about being super safe with how they dealt with their nuclear waste, some of it was just dumped into this lake. Some parts of the lake are so irradiated that they would kill you in an hour if you stuck around. The Russian government has begun filling up the lake with concrete. If you still want to go swim there even after hearing this, you better get there while you still have the chance. Number 9. The Ganges River. If you ever find yourself in India looking for a place to swim, you better avoid the Ganges River. The Ganges has become so polluted due to India's rapid industrialization that over 600 kilometers of it equivalent to 372 miles are ecological dead zones where life cannot sustain itself. Try and not let that life be you. Human and industrial waste is pumped into the river at a disturbing rate. In places, the river has over 70 times the safe limit of toxic chemicals and 3,000 times the safe amount of fecal coliform. The Ganges is not only home to a ton of industrial pollution, but is also the final resting place for about 40,000 cremated bodies every year. So you'd essentially be swimming in a sort of sludge made partially out of dead people. Overall, research confirms this causes a greater rate of cancer and gastrointestinal disease among people living by the river. Worst of all, since the river is religiously sacred, people disregard the warnings, believing that swimming in it cleanses themselves of past sins. Number 8. The Nile River. The Nile River is dangerous, really? Even though in the Prince of Egypt everyone is just chilling in there and leaving babies around? Yes. In reality, the Nile is full of Nile crocodiles, who use the clouded water to hide from their prey. Every year, hundreds of people are attacked by Nile crocodiles in sub-Saharan Africa. For reference, there are only 16 shark attacks a year in the United States. So to avoid ending up like a wildebeest on the Discovery Channel, you should probably just stay on land. Number 7. Hanakapi Beach. Hanakapi Beach in Hawaii is absolutely not where you want to go on your vacation. It may look like any other pristine Hawaiian beach where you can go surfing and wear a grass skirt and whatever, but this is a trap. Underneath, there are very strong riptides that have led to 80 confirmed deaths. The beach is so dangerous that there's even a sign with a death toll marked on it to scare potential swimmers away. This is a dangerous destination due to unseen and powerful rip currents. Waves that are known to sweep people out to sea are also a huge concern, according to the Weather Channel. In the event that a swimmer gets caught in a rip current, the closest safe shore area is about 6 miles away. Due to these risky conditions, 83 people have drowned there over the years, according to news reports. Number 6. Samison Hole. The Samison Hole has been described as a black silty hole of death. It is the deepest diving site in the Gulf of Thailand, with a depth of 280 feet. If you really want to dive into this black silty hole of death, you're going to have to deal with strong currents, oil tankers passing through, poor visibility, and barracuda. The US Navy also used to use the site as an ammunition dump, so there's always the possibility of bumping into the wrong thing and just blowing yourself up. Number 5. Gans Bay. Gans Bay, South Africa, didn't get the nickname Shark Alley for nothing. Often referred to as the Great White Shark Capital of the World, Gans Bay is a premier cage diving location that promises to offer a truly thrilling experience. The area is the best place in the world to get up close to great white sharks as they hunt and move through this area year-round. Obviously, you should not be swimming anywhere that is called Shark Alley unless you are a crazy person. They have so many sharks there. In fact, it's become a tourist destination for the only semi-crazy activity of cage diving with the sharks. If you're looking for sharks, clearly this is the place to be. While the United States only has 0.02 shark attacks per every million people, South Africa has 0.15 per every million. Number 4. Blue, Lake Russia. The Blue Lake in Russia which probably doesn't mean anything to you unless you're a chemist. Well, 
The fact that bleach has a pH level of 12.6 should be a big warning sign. On top of being a body of water that's closer to being bleached than it is to being something that would come out of a tap, it has an idyllic blue color from caustic chemicals in the surrounding stones. Despite signs warning people of the danger, people could not help themselves from taking a dip in its beautiful waters. It got so bad it had to be dyed black to try to discourage people from swimming in it. If you think about it, that's actually a pretty great idea that a lot of other places on this list could take a note from. The lagoon is also home to abandoned cars, dead animals, and human waste. So yeah, dyeing it black was a good decision. Number 3. Queensland, Australia. Australia is home to some of the most incredible marine life on the planet, but one area you may want to avoid exploring is the ocean off the coast of Queensland. These waters are not only home to sharks, saltwater crocodiles and the venomous blue-ringed octopus, they are also the location of one of the deadliest creatures on the planet, the box jellyfish. Certain species of box jellyfish can have tentacles up to 10 feet in length that contain enough poison to kill a human in 2 to 5 minutes. Sightings of these sea monsters often cause entire beaches to be shut for days at a time in order to protect swimmers. The picture I have for today shows a big and threatening wave and what appears to be one of the worst surfing experiences for the people in this picture. Let's check out one of the most dangerous places for surfing and swimming. Number 2. New Smyrna Beach. Florida New Smyrna Beach is famous for its warm climate and great surf, but it also holds another, far more sinister title. The shark attack capital of the world. Since records began, back in 1882, New Smyrna Beach has been the location of over 240 separate shark attacks, and the number is constantly rising. In 2008 alone, an incredible 24 shark bites and attacks were recorded at the beach. Swimmers and surfers constantly come back to the area though, and there seems to be one very good reason for this, although a huge number of attacks have occurred, so far none of them have actually been fatal. If you want to swim in safety though, New Smyrna Beach is definitely not for you. I saved the best for last, but first, I have a quick challenge that takes only 5 seconds to complete. If you can leave a like and subscribe within the next 5 seconds, you'll get 10 years of amazing luck. Just try it, it really works. Number 1. Naira Gongo, Democratic Republic of Congo. The place at the top of the list is not the one that you would necessarily visit because you need to cool off. Instead, this is a place you'd likely visit if you're feeling cold, just like when you look for hot springs in the cold mountains. However, do not mistake these hot waters for hot springs. The Naira Gongo is in fact home to one of the hottest swimming holes on Earth, but those holes are also considered part of the largest lava pit in the entire world. So, unless you want to boil yourself to death, you might not want to make use of these swimming holes. Not only is it dangerous for its lava, but the place also releases plenty of toxic substances that will make you suffocate as soon as you inhale them. In fact, you don't even need to get inside the lake to get these substances into your system. You could catch them just by hanging around the shore. It sounds like swimming is not always that fun after all, especially when we come across dangerous places like the ones I showed you on this list. Are they scary enough for you, or are you feeling like you want to go check them out as soon as you get a chance? Let us know in the comments section down below. I'd love to see what you all think. With all that said and done, I'll see you all next time. Later, everybody.